So, do you create your numbered lists like this? If you do, stop it. There are a few disadvantages to this approach. For example, whenever you add a new item, you also have to update the numbers. And if you delete some rows in the middle, the sequence does not update to reflect the number of items. You may be tempted to use this method, which involves having a static one in the first row and then using an incrementing cell reference to add one to the previous row value. However, that's also problematic. No! Thankfully, there is a better way. You can combine the sequence function with count A to generate a range of sequential numbers based on the quantity of cells that are not empty in column B. We also minus one from the result because we don't want to include the header row in the count. As you can see, we can add new items and delete rows without messing up the sequence.